When I was a kid, we used to go to this place called Kingsley Lake, and uh, it was dangerous. It was like a lake was just built like a raggedy water park kind of thing. Like, it wasn't even really, I don't even know if it was really lifeguards. I think it was just a couple people who knew how to swim real well, you feel me? I used to go there all the time. And even then, I was like, this is, this is raggedy. I know this is raggedy. But I loved it. I loved that shit. There was this long-ass dock that went out and then all the way around. And there was two slides. There was the white slide and there was the blue slide. Like, I think there was another slide or something, but it was just like a slide, an actual slide. Somebody just put a slide, one of the metal slides, on the edge of a dock. And then just that was that was what it was. <laughs> the white slide was like a big slide. Like, you had to go up steps that were raggedy and not built right. Um, to get to the top of the slide. And it was just basically like a straight shoot down. But it, it was it was raggedy. Like it was three different colors. Like you could tell that the pieces that it used to put itself together were not all made by the same person or at probably the same time. But the speed you could get to going on this motherfucker. Woo! I think it was the first time I realized why you got to cross your legs when you're going down them speed slides. Nathan's first colonic. <laughs> anyway, so there was not a whole lot of regulations for people going down the slide. There was just a dude that was like, all right, go, go. He wasn't telling you how to go down the slide. You just figured it out. So some people would go down the slide on their feet and they would bust their ass and then fall off the side of the slide, you know, down the wood of it into the water. These are children and they would be fine. I mean, for sure, there's some dead kids at the bottom of that lake, but <laughs> you know, it, that's every lake, really. But what the fun part would do was to go down, like, you could go down backwards. That was fun, uh, which was also jarring because the slide would kind of shift weights. And so sometimes it would be deeper in the water than other times. And you would get a whiplash backwards, go down on your knees. And then at the at the end, do a fl hop up off your knees and do a flip. Me and my brother Lee used to do this shit all the time. They also had some platforms, you know, just that you could just like jump off of. 20 foot, 40 foot and 50 foot. I was like eight, nine years old, 10, maybe 12. I don't remember. But the 20 foot was never, it was never, it was always easy work. You know what I mean? The 40 foot took a little courage to get off of. I wouldn't dive off of that one. Also, this was in about nine feet of water. So maybe shouldn't have had a 50 foot platform. That one took courage to jump off of. But once I did it, because it looked so much higher than the 40 foot. The cool thing to do was, uh, was to jump off and say something cool. And I remember I used to love to say pizza dudes got 30 seconds. Now that I think about it, I could actually say that entire phrase on the way down, which, damn, that shit was tall. I remember this one time I had just jumped and I was trying to get up the courage to dive off. Um, and I was just like, nah, I'm not going to do it. I'm going to just jump this next time. And I jumped and I went in the water. Like it was nine feet of water. is not a lot of water. You would hit the bottom and then you would just push yourself back up. But that's why I didn't want to dive off. You know what I mean? I didn't want to, I don't want to break my neck, my back and my neck. So I jumped off and I'm in the water. I'm swimming back to the ladder to get back onto the dock to go up again. And I see this big dude, chunky motherfucker. He tries to dive off, but he just keeps his body rigid and straight. So he just over rotates. And it was the, I mean, he hit all, like his whole back. It sounded like a lightning clap. You know what I mean? Shit was loud like Snoop Dogg weed. Loud like Weird Al underwear. Loud. Like in the moment, I remember thinking, oh, he he might be dead. He wasn't dead. He wasn't good. Like he his day was done. He was he was he was done for the day. And he seemed cool with being done. But boy, he hit that motherfucker. Anyway, we me and my brother were up there on the on the 50 foot tower. We were getting the courage to jump. We were trying to be like, man, you jump. No, man, you jump, man, you jump. I remember this fucking 12 year old kid just gets up there. He's got on these fucking cool ass bathing suit you know what i mean like you know the kids who had the fucking money to get the like actual bathing suits and weren't just wearing shorts all bougie and shit anyway he does a swan dive off just fucking beautiful with no thought just hits the platform and just oh me and my brother are like yeah! dude does a flip in the air just do it in the water and then comes up and then just swims to the beach he doesn't even go back to the to the motherfucking dock to walk to get up and then walk to the beach he just starts swimming back towards the beach like bro that shit was crazy now remember i said there was two slides because it was a white slide and it was the blue slide now the white slide was like this but the blue slide was like that it didn't look like it was straight down when you were looking at it from the ground but when you got onto it, it looked like there's no way you just falling forward onto your death. Those first couple times going down that blue slide, boy, 
I was petrified because people would go down it like just like they would on the white side. They would go down backwards and they would go down on their knees and then try and do a flip at the end. But you also it was steep. So people would also over rotate and just and just scorpion themselves down the motherfucking slide and then maybe die or not. I don't know. Sometimes Kingsley Lake was fun. Almost died a lot. But I liked it.